All right, so hopefully you've had a few minutes here to try some on your own, and now let's go through the solutions. So first of all, they're giving us the fact that FG is 27, so that's our radius of our circle. Okay. Uh, next, we can figure out all the degree measurements. So right away I see a 90 degree angle here, okay, and if you think of it, this would be the rest out of a 360. So if I add what I have so far, 90, 47, and 80, okay, let's use the calculator for simplicity, 90, 47, and 80, okay, and then we take 360 minus that answer, then we'll have 143 for a result. So this has to be 143, okay? Now, anyways, we're looking for FED, right? F to E to D. So if we find the measurement of the arc first, it would be 90 plus 143, right? So that would be, is it 233? I think so. So that's two thirds, so remember the formula now. So the formula is arc length is x over 360 times 2 pi r. So x would be the um, degree measurement of the arc over 360 times 2 pi times the radius of, in this case, 27. So we have to enter all this into the calculator. 233 divided by 360 equals. Take your answer, times that by 2 pi, and times it by 27. And we get 109.7986. And if we round that off to the nearest hundredth, as the instructions say to do, we're looking to round off to this place. So we have to check this place. Since it's large, we want to round up. And so we would get to the next number up from 79, which is 80, okay? Right, next one. So NR is eight feet, so that's our radius. Uh, we're trying to find the length of this arc, so we have to find first its degree measurement. So let's look at that first. So here we see a diameter. When we have a diameter, we know that the arc that spans across it has to be 180 degrees. So we have 180 subtract 62 leaves 18 degrees for the measurement of this angle and therefore this arc. Okay, uh, next of all, we can say that this is 162 since we have here vertical angles and these are both central angles so the arcs are equal to the angles. Um, similarly, we can say this is, would be 18 because of vertical angles and then this arc would also be 18. And finally now, if we look at NMP, we're starting at N, going to M, and going around to P. So this would be 180 degrees plus an extra 18 degrees, okay? So if I do 180 plus 18, I would get 198 is the number of degrees in this yellow arc that I've drawn here, 198 degrees. Uh, you could have also added, of course, 18, 162, and 18. So now that we have the measurement for this arc, uh, we can now set up our formula. So the formula is that L equals x over 360 times 2 pi r. So in our case, it will be 198 over 360 times by 2 pi, and the radius is 8. So let's plug into the calculator. We have 198 over 360. And then we times that by 2 pi times 8. And you get 27.646.646. And this 6 tells us to round up. So 27.65. Right, next one. So JH, notice this time they're giving us the diameter. So JH is the diameter, which means the radius would be half of that. So if I divide that by 2, I get 10.5. Now I'm looking for this measurement of the arc, uh, kjg. So let's look at all the arcs here. Well, first off, we notice that here we have a straight line. So this would be 180 degrees. So if I do 180 subtract 85, that leaves 95 for the other side. Okay. Um, now, if you notice here, this is, would also be 95 because of vertical angles. And then I can take a look at these three 
and demand that they have to add up to 180. Right, so if I look at what I have so far, and then subtract the result from 180, okay, I'll see that the missing piece in the center has to be 26. Now, let's find the measurement for the arc, K, J, G. So starting at K, going around to J, and going around all the way to G. Okay, so notice that this is going everything but the 26 that's missing from here. So everything is equal to 360, but it's short by 26, okay? So this would end up being 334 degrees. But they're not asking for the measurement of arc KJG, then there would be a little m in front. Instead, they're asking for the arc length. So I use my formula L equals x over 360 times 2 pi r. The x would be 334 out of 360, and I times that by 2 pi, and then the radius of 10.5. So this all can go in the calculator, 334 divided by 360. We times this by 2 pi, and we times the answer there by 10.5. And you get 61.2, okay? Right, last one here. So WS equals 4.5. So WS here is 4.5. Uh, find the length of TS. So we know the radius is 4.5. So first thing, as always, we want to find all the measurements of the arcs. So firstly, let's see what we could do. So I think this one would have to be 31 in here, right? Um, then I realize that this is 180. So I do 180 subtract 128, that leaves 52 for the smaller piece here. And then these are equal because they're opposite from each other via vertical angles. Okay, now, uh, let's see. How about these three would also have to be 180, right? So I have 52 and I have 31, so that's 83. From 180, that leaves 97. So 97 must go here, okay? So the measurement of arc TS would equal 97 degrees. But they're asking for the length of the arc. So to get the length of the arc, we have to use this special formula, and we put the degrees on the top, and then we put the radius over here. Okay, to the calculator, uh, times 2 pi, Whoops, I times by 360. So 97 divided by 360, right? And then we times by 2 pi, and we times by 4.5. So we're getting an answer of 7.618. So that's really 7.62 if we're rounding to the nearest hundredth. Okay, guys, now take a chance to do the homework assignment, homework two, and please submit it through Google Classroom.